day is It's my What day am I on? Day 12 of isolation I only have to do 10 But I'm on 12 So right now I am Pumping gas because your girl is headed to her appointment. Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Because I'm trying to put everything back and I got a Clorox wipe because I don't want to touch nothing. Okay? Nothing. Ugh. Ooh, my glasses fuck okay guys so i've literally been in this line maybe less than 10 minutes so it looks like i have to go through this tent then the next tent and then i think it's another tent on down there so i guess three tents and then we're done this is supposed to be a mouth swab but i i'm not really sure how this is gonna work so yeah let's see let's see hello how are you Yes, ma'am. Okay, I have three of them for me and my kids. Perfect. Okay, um, mine's will be. You've been here before? I have not. Okay. I'm going to give you a white piece of paper for you to keep it. I'm going to hand you your test. I write the name in each test. Make sure each one got the correct one. Um, I want you to go right behind that card. Uh, the next hand, they will give you an instruction how to take the test. It's super easy. You will get your result in about one to three days via text messages and email as well. All right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so she said we'll get the results via text message or email, but hold on, let's see. Let's see what's next. Okay. Hello, how are you? So before we start the test, how many people are doing it? It's three. Three? Alright. Any kids under the age of eight? Um, no. No? Alright, so everyone can do the test by themselves? Yes, I have a nine and a thirteen year old. Okay. So go ahead and talk to that red bin over there. I'll get you. The red bin? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do the test ourselves. Camera, get up. You know that? No, I thought that was the same. Okay. So go and pass out the bag. It should have you up, like everybody and Nick Cameron. On it. Cameron, sit up and pay attention. Here. That's right. So okay. before we start, go ahead and face the other direction and talk three times in your mask. You said what? Go ahead and face the opposite direction of me and talk in your mask three times. Everybody look this way and cough three times. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and pull out the Q tip in the inside the bag. Open your bag. No. I'm trying to be able to get some footage, but the. Okay, take it out. Yep, take it out. Go ahead and unwrap it. Take the Q-tip out. Okay. Lord. So this thing clearly ain't trying to open. I thought I was the only one that couldn't get it open. Yeah, I can't. Okay, I got mine open. It's like a bandage. Take out the Q-tip. Take out the Q-tip. And in the middle of the Q-tip, there's like a little break point that's not in half. Okay. So you're going to snap the whole Q-tip in half when you see it. Okay. And then put the non-tuck one back into the bag. Put this one back into the bag? Yeah. Okay. And then after that, we're going to swab seven areas of your mouth. So go ahead and put on your mask, and we're going to start at the top of your gum line. So okay. We're going to drop that area for five seconds. The top of your gum line is up here, so. Yep, so five, four, three, two, one. Is that the bottom of your gum line? Five, four, three, two, one. Then your left cheek. Five, four, three, two, one. The other side of your cheek. Five, four, Three, two, one. Underneath your tongue. Five, four, three, two, one. On top of your tongue. Five, 
four, three, two, one, and finally the roof of your mouth. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and keep the keys up in your mouth. And then you're gonna grab the bottle from the bag. The bottle from the bag. Not the wrap of the bag. Uh, yeah, the big bag here. Yeah. There'll be like a catch in there. Uh -huh. and then you're gonna carefully open it. There's liquor inside. You don't want to put that around your tongue. Uh, this way I heard be careful opening it. I'm here on camera. So go ahead and carefully open it up. And then you're going to dump the Q-tip in there. And then go ahead and close it up. Wait. Yeah, drop it in there. Face down. It's face down, right? Yeah, face down. So go ahead and close it tightly. And then you're going to shake the bottle slowly three times. Yep, so go ahead and put everything we use back into the big bag, air out the bag, and then throw it up. Okay. And then we're gonna get you're gonna get your test results back within two to three days by a text message on your phone. Okay. And that's pretty much it. And I'll get all three of the ears. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead and take off. Okay, y'all. So the sun was hating on me. I don't know if y'all could really see the footage. I had to kind of hold the camera in my lap, but like now you can't even see me because the sun is just really hating on your girl. But I tried to vlog as much as possible of that process. I've like I said, I've never had the mouth swab before. It was the the nose thing. So I'm just praying to God that I get a negative test result. Yeah. And yeah. Okay, y'all. So today is Sunday. Don't know what the date is. The 28th? 30th? 29th? It's somewhere at the end of the month, but it's Sunday, okay? And so the last time that I was on here, it was, I believe, the day before Thanksgiving when I actually went to go get retested for COVID. So um, I don't think I picked the camera up any time after that. I could be wrong, but I really don't think I did because, honestly, I misplaced my camera and I really couldn't find it. And, yeah. And so, anywho, so let me just tell y'all this. So the, the um, health department called me again. Hold on, wait a minute, y'all can see my kids is coming to be loud. Yeah. Hi, Shy. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Say hi, guys. Sorry, y'all, she looking real rough. Okay, so let me make this fast because I have to go take my husband some food. I have to go take my husband some food. Okay, so let me prop y'all up. And talk at the same time and excuse the way I look because Cheryl is always something with me. Okay. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Come on, Sean, put your pants on. So the city the CDC, the health department called me again. Come on, my I'm gonna go bye bye. You gonna stay here? Do you wanna stay here? No. Come on, let's go. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Not to you. Bye. Bye. I'm gone. Oh, now you want to come? Come on, let me put your clothes on so we can go. And I can quit starting this whole story over again. Come here. Come on. Come on. Or are you going to stay here? I'm going to go take your um, daddy some food. Okay, y'all. So I have to come get in the car because for one, my kids, I'm trying to go somewhere. I mean, I'm trying to do something and my kids was bothering me and I couldn't talk to y'all at the same time because, you know, child, it's just too much. But anyway, let me tell y'all, the CDC called me again and since the last time I talked to y'all on my blog and they were pretty much asking me about my son, Eric. Now, <clears throat> I told y'all, if you if you watch my previous vlogs, y'all know that Eric's school had called me and said that he came in contact with someone who may, I mean, with someone who tested positive for COVID. So I'm damn what he want? Everybody getting on my nerves. I can't tell my story. Okay, for the umpteenth time. 
I done tried to tell y'all this story for about five minutes now, and I've been interrupted. Okay. So. Sha, what is your problem? What is it? That's that's the hood to your robe. The unicorn. Woo, child. I guess I can't tell y'all this story. They don't want me, don't nobody want me to tell y'all the story. They don't. They just don't. Let me try one more time. So, the health department called me again for little E. That's my son, my oldest son. So, um, if you pay attention, I mean, if you if you've been watching my previous vlogs, then you know that my son's school called me and told me that let me cut the light on that he um he had been in contact with someone who tested positive for COVID and then and that he had to stay home for two weeks for quarantine. Okay, so hold on, y'all. I hate driving with the light on, but then y'all can't see me. But I got stuff to talk about. So um. They call me again. They just want to check on him. And I'm thinking, damn, like, I know, like, when you test positive for COVID, that the C that the um, health department call you because, I mean, hell, they have to. Um, but he hasn't tested positive for, for COVID. You know, I hadn't even got him tested at the time. And um, I was like, dang, they calling me? So I'm assuming the school just gave the health department everybody names of who was around the um little girl that tested positive so anywho so when i had them on the phone i start asking a shitload of questions because that's just what i do because i'm scared and again the lady told me as long as you quarantine for 10 days for the people who test positive as long as you quarantine yourself for 10 days and you no longer have any symptoms and haven't taken any mes medicine within 24 hours um you're good like you're considered good and she was like and I told her well I'm gonna get retested on the 23rd I don't even know if it's the 23rd whatever the day before Thanksgiving is whatever that date is Sha, hush okay and she was like well we you know she was like you can get retested if you choose to but she was like um it's not it's not not recommended because no that's not what she said she said it's not it's not what word am i looking for i can't think of the word that i'm looking for basically the word that i'm looking for is you can do it if you want to but it's not required yes required not recommended required <laughs> so yeah um she said it's not required and so i was like okay i was like just for my conscience because i'm crazy i just want to just go get retested and she was like well keep in mind that there's a chance that you may still show positive because you actually um had COVID she was like it's been you know COVID is in your system so there's a chance that you can still test positive even after you've quarantined for 10 days and all that kind of stuff so I'm like what and she was like yes and she was like but you're not considered contagious because you've already passed that window of being contagious but it still may show in your system which is why you would you could possibly have a positive what so that's what she told me. Now she, I had this conversation with her before I went and got tested. So now fast forward to testing day, y'all. You guys seen it in a previous previous clip. Oh wait, that's where I'm going. I'm about to pass it up. You guys seen me get tested in a previous clip. I hope you guys were able to see it because the sun was really hating on your girl. But uh, neither the less, I got retested. So that was the day before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving came. I cooked this big old meal, period. Because your girl be in the kitchen cooking. Because she know what she's doing in the kitchen. And um, I didn't leave the house at all. Because, you know, even though they told me I was good, I just need, I just need my test results to come back and tell me that I'm good. The very next day. Shut up. Hey, she be hating on me. Hold on, guys. This is a long story. I'm drawing it out. Can I get your six-piece hot wing? Express hot wing? Okay, do you want the, just the six hot wings or the combo? The combo, please. Okay, and the six hot wings are now boneless and it comes with nine. Is that okay? Y'all don't have the bone anymore? No, ma'am. Is that everywhere? Mm. Like all the chicken express? Yes. I believe so, ma'am. Oh, wow. Okay, um, yes, that's okay. Okay, ma'am, and um, for the combo, what would you like as your side order? Fries. And to drink? Dr. Pepper. What else would you 
else can I get you? That'll be it. Okay, you're cool. It's nine dollars and seventy-three cents. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, y'all, let me make it. Let me hurry up and tell y'all this story because I keep getting interrupted and I'm just probably making this a making a short story into a long story because that's what I do sometimes. Okay, so fast forward to the day after Thanksgiving. I got my email and the text message from uh, of the um, place where I went and got tested. And me and my kids all came back negative. So your girl no longer has COVID. Thank God. Hallelujah praise the lord because i was so nervous because she told me i still may test positive even though you know i was locked in the house for umpteen days but i tested negative and i'm so thankful and even though now that i'm negative I, i've still been in the house hold on guys hold on i gotta dang it went fast hello okay Thank you. Um, I've been in the house. I haven't been anywhere. And the only reason why I'm out right now is because my husband, he's a truck driver. If y'all didn't know, he's a truck driver. And um, thank you. And um, he asked me to bring him some food while he's passing through the state. Um, so, well, not state, the city. While he's passing through the city. So, um, I'm going to meet up with him, and then I'm going to take him his food, and then, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Hey, Mom. I made that story longer than what it really has to be, but you know, whatever.